out with a quick Saturday grooming session. Just did a quick head shave, man. It's got it nice and smooth. What I wanted to do today, man, was um, do a quick little tutorial on how I fade my sideburns. I don't want to go down too far. I want to start about at the ear area. This is a seven or seven sixteen. So it's not gonna really grab too much hair, but I'm just trying to make sure. Right around the bottom of the ear lobe. Again, around mid ear. <clears throat> I did the bigger guard closer to the bottom of my ear, so I'm coming back with the one a little bit higher. Then I go back to the same thing over here. As you guys see, I left a little hair right here for my shave. I'm gonna get it off of my clippers anywhere my handy. I'm gonna go to about the three notch. Go up a little, just a little higher. And really, I can I can sort of skip over this step. But just to make sure I don't, I'm grabbing enough hair. I do it anyway. Now I'm gonna go all the way close with the one guard. I'm gonna focus on right above this part of my ear and up. And your hairs grow different directions, man. So make sure you angle your clipper at certain angles to hit certain hairs. Now I take the number one off, man. All the way up. This is the fun part. This is when you really start to really seeing that. Fade into the ball here. To the third notch. Yeah, I love my masters, man. I've been having these clippers, man, for probably 12 years or longer. My Andy's liners. That's what I'm gonna clean up. Where I shaved my head, where I did my ball. Let's get some of those hairs I left behind. I always pull that ear back, get all behind there. You'd be surprised if people People can see that little stuff back there. Make sure you always clean that up, man.
all of us beer guys, man. At some point in time, we have a little problem area, man, that we always look at, and it's not really noticeable to anybody else. Uh, but it's our beard, and we notice it. But uh, mine is like right here. You can see. I always try to train my mustache over it. You know, it works for the most part, but I'm sure it'll catch up and grow in. I used to try to keep it rounded, but now I'm just going with a straight line like this side. I like the way this side really does. So um, I'm sure soon that'll catch up. Pull out my trusty Pinard. You know, I gotta rock this, man. Mm. Ooh, that shit is hot. Uh. Man, if you haven't grabbed some of this aftershave yet, man, this Pinard Clubman, please go out and grab you some. Any local beauty supplies, Sally's, like I said before, Hood, wherever you're at, you can find some of this Pinard. Maybe six, seven dollars tops. You see how much is in here. You know, you you know, you're gonna have it for a nice little while. And it smells awesome. It smells like you just left the barbershop. And I'm here in the bathroom. Also, guys, uh, I've been using this Nivea men's cream, little face, body, and hands cream. And trying to get away from a lot of the regular lotions. And I know, you know, us guys with beers don't really have a lot of you know face available you know so to say and this is face body and hand so you can use it everywhere but get on them high cheek areas man some of that forehead and get up out of that neck And remain and put it on your hands, man. Your arms. Been using my beard bone 25 by beard guys. You know, it's not bad at all, man. It's a little, little softer than I normally like. Almost like a buttery. Almost. But uh, as I told you in the last video, or a few videos ago, my man D Hyde sent me his beard bone, man, and I've been using it. Shines up really good, man, and it holds my beard great. Smells good. I just personally like stiffer beer bombs. I don't mind the buttery consistency ones. I don't think those would be good also, but as far as the whole, I like a stiffer beer bomb. Yeah, man, there we go. Ready to tackle this Saturday, man. About to hit this gym. Gonna get these guns going good for me. And uh, you guys have a great weekend, man. And uh, as always, thanks for supporting me. Peace.